Hello everyone, this video is titled 40 New For Honor Mechanics, but I will sometimes bring old mechanics that have been outright deleted from the game, or try to rework them in a way to make them more fair. So let's begin. Semi-unblockable attacks. Their color is yellow instead of red, and unlike any other attack in the game, their damage through a block is 50% instead of the usual 20% damage. This essentially makes them weaker unblockables, and for that reason they might be available from neutral. They can also be paired with Punch Through to make them stronger, and to give that feat an actual use. Aramucha has Blade Blockade, but with a slower activation time so that it can only be done on an extremely good read. So pretty much like a Dark Souls parry, but the punish is also higher. Charged attacks that are given the Indodgeable property, the Displacing property, the new Semi-Unblockable property, or any other property in the game that isn't just unblockable. Charged Zone Attacks, Light Attacks, and Dodge Attacks. Just how Nobushi has a unique backstep light attack, have someone with a unique backstep heavy attack. Attacks that much like Shaman's zone hit twice in a quick succession, but instead it's in a big area and can be used mid-chain. An attack like this has positives and negatives, like the fact that it's essentially a double AoE in teamfight, and it also works as a weaker and dodgeable, because even if someone dodge attacks the first strike, they'll still get hit by the second one, albeit for less damage. And you can't spam this ability either, because if someone blocks the first attack, they'll be able to bury the second one if they have good reactions. This is not exactly a new mechanic, as it is an expansion of an unused mechanic. Attacks that are given different properties depending on the side that came before. For example, say the Raider's chain top heavy only becomes unblockable if the attack prior also was a top heavy. An ability called Momentum, where if you throw an attack from the same side as before, the momentum of the weapon will be carried out, and you won't have to use as much stamina for it. A new type of full block that does not guarantee any damage, nor does it have superior block properties. So the enemy is able to keep going even if they hit you, but the trade-off is that once you're hit, you're able to access an extremely strong mix-up afterwards. Say somebody is light spamming you, so you full block their first attack, and as they mindlessly throw their second light attack, you immediately follow with a 30 damage hyper armor unblockable heavy, and you take the trade while dealing huge damage to the enemy. This would also be pretty interesting in teamfights. Unique sidestep and front step attacks. Just how Nobushi has a unique backstep attack, have some characters with unique sidestep and front step attacks. Give characters the ability to alter their trajectory slightly when performing heavy. Just like Kensei in the story mode. I don't know who'll find a use for this, but I'm sure somebody will. A Kiai in real life was meant to give fear to the enemy and to hype yourself up in the face of danger, not drain stamina from opponents. So what if Orochi and Shinobi get a Kiai ability in their actual moveset? where 60% of their stamina is drained upon use, but they gain 10% more damage for the next 10 seconds. But watch out! The enemy might catch you if you're mid-ki animation, so you have to be careful when to use it. In the case of Shugoki, he could also drain himself of 60% of his stamina, but gain passive hyper armor for the next 5 seconds instead. Balance this as you will, but at least here's the idea. Heavy crushing counterattacks just like Conquer used to have. Chain heavy crushing counterattacks. And while we're on the topic, Remove Conqueror's ability to faint again, but give him a bunch of soft feints so that his weapon actually feels unique. Crushing counters that come from another direction to the one you're attacking from. Say you're attacking from the left, but your shield is on the right, so the actual crushing counter in that scenario comes from the right. Crushing counters or full blocks that block from two sides instead of one or three. Again, balance this as you will. Charge attacks that are only accessible from one side, or... Charge attacks that forcefully change your attack's direction to top, if you charge them fully. Just like Berserker, fainting a heavy will give your next attack a property, but instead of hyper armor, the next attack could be given any property in the game. So fainting a heavy into another heavy, just like Kensei, but from any direction into any direction. So fainting a heavy into another heavy and it becomes a blockable, or gains any other property in the game. Or same thing but soft fainting into a light, or with a zone attack. Soft painting a heavy into the next move you throw will make it count as if it was a second in-chain move. The ability to soft paint heavies into each other over and over and over without actually having to throw them. You know, for the mind games, but mostly because it's funny. So pretty much like Tiandi, but without having to dodge. An ability given to a Pharaoh or Shinobi where you grab your opponent and do a flip over them, effectively switching positions with them in the middle of a fight. So it's an ability that displaces the enemy as well as yourself. A reload mechanic, just like the one I gave to Pirate, on my Pirate rework video. Bring back Shove on Block, but make it exactly like Black Prior's Bulwark Slash on Block, but it's a slow feintable bash instead of an unblockable. In fact, add moves to defensive heroes that are only accessible after blocking. 
A neutral dash that confirms no damage, but can throw the enemy really far away for displacement purposes. And also because it's funny. Sacrificing guaranteed damage for the sake of giving you a mix-up with insane damage, for example, if you land a neutral bash, you can choose to deal 12 damage, or you can sacrifice that guaranteed damage and opt for a higher damage mix-up instead. So pretty much like Oldorochi's Deflect, but make that play a more prominent role. And while we're on the topic, bring that move back. Attacks that deal lower than average damage, but when you get low health, they become stronger. Much like Shugoki's Old Demon's Embrace, but instead of one-shotting you, it simply gains a 20% damage boost. Attacks whose properties are changed when you become low health, like certain chain heavy attacks becoming unblockable. In fact, why not have a hero whose abilities completely change the second he gets below 50% HP? For example, Berserker. He starts out weak, but gets more ferocious the closer he is to dying. Non-bash attacks whose whole purpose is to break hyper armor. This is what displacing attacks also could have been. Proking bleed on someone will debuff the enemy in some way, for example, damage output and or stamina usage. In the case of Nobushi, who relies on dodging a lot, proking bleed on the enemy will make it clumsy and all his attacks lose the undodgeable property, as opposed to Nobushi simply dealing more damage on someone who's bleeding. The ability to shout really loudly, consuming a part of your stamina, and the first attack you throw in the next 3 seconds becomes unblockable or gains another property. And lastly, bring back Shinobi's old range attacks, but instead of dealing damage, they just move the enemy close to you and confirm nothing. They don't pin the enemy, they don't deal damage, they are now purely a displacing tool and nothing else. I hope you enjoyed the video, do come up with your own ideas in the comments. Hopefully this video will have a positive impact on the game, maybe, and I'll see you in the next one.